Hi, it's Lee from the Japanese Water Gardens. Water testing. Why bother and how is it done? What should I be testing for? Well, keep watching and hopefully I'll be able to explain a few of the basics and all will become clear. We have all heard the much overused cliche, take care of the water and the fish will take care of themselves, or fish keeping is all about keeping water and so on. Well, there is a lot of truth in those sayings and there is a huge amount of problems that can develop in koi ponds that could easily be avoided by improving water conditions and reducing the stress in the fish. It's all well and good just to assume that everything is okay with the water because everything appears to be okay with the fish and it has always been okay. But that view is naive at best. Sooner or later something will change and a problem will most likely ensue. The only way to know the state of the water is to test it with a proper testing kit. A basic set of kits must include tests for pH, ammonia and nitrite. There are many more kits available, but these are the main ones that you will need to be checking on a typical koi pond. Most quality kits will comprise of a collection of plastic test tubes, liquid reagents and coloured card charts. To complete the test, you add a measured amount of pond water to the test tubes and add reagents as per instruction and then make a colour comparison from the cards. There are simple tests that just use a dipstick, however the accuracy of these is questionable so they are best avoided. The pH test measures acidity or alkalinity with 7 being neutral, higher readings alkaline, lower readings and acid. In general a pH of 6.5 to 8.5 is perfectly acceptable but readings outside this range will almost certainly cause issues and need to be rectified. Ammonia is toxic to fish and if it becomes concentrated it will cause very serious damage and in extreme cases may kill the fish. Ammonia often builds up in ponds with too many fish or inadequate filtration. Ammonia is created during the breakdown of proteins and excreted through the gills. Nitrite is created when ammonia is converted in filtration system. Whilst not nearly as harmful as ammonia, long term issues with nitrite are damaging to fish and can be a good indicator that something is struggling. Regular testing the three main parameters will allow you to spot a problem developing and perhaps take action before things get too serious. For more information about water testing and other pond related topics be sure to subscribe to the channel. Bye for now, Lee at the Japanese Water Gardens.